This is my 12 volt, 175 watt solar panel mounted on the roof of my truck camper. My solar panel is attached to the round bar of the luggage rack with two bolts and a flat bar underneath. So that should let the front rotate upward. And if I take the rear bolts off, then I should be able to lift the rear of the panel and make it more perpendicular to the sun getting more watts out of my panel. The panel sits a little bit lower in the front than the back, so I won't have to really secure the back that well. If I'm on freeway speeds, the wind should actually push it down in the back. But I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of securing method. This was recorded hyperspeed. I don't really work this fast. I have the hardware off on the back end. Now for the big test to see if it'll tilt up. Well, it actually tilts up too easy. I guess I'm going to have to tighten the front ones a little bit. They have lock nuts on them, so I don't think it's going to come off. I think it'll be fine, but they could be tightened up a little bit. <clears throat> I have some more of this gym mat material. I think I can just cut off a little piece of it and glue it up on the bottom of the panel where it hits the bar. So it won't be bouncing around and rattling noise and all that. So I gotta get some uh, Gorilla Glue and glue that on there. I'm just gonna take these little pieces off and save this big piece because I never know what I could use that for. I put this here so when I climb in the back of the pickup, my knees don't have to rest on this hard plywood uh, because <laughs> My knees hurt. And then I put some underneath the carpet too, all the way up. So if I have to get on my knees in there, I won't be messing myself up too. So. Perfect. Okay, I'm known for taking a lot of breaks, and my excuse this time is I have to let that glue dry before I do any moving around, so break time. Jumper loves it when I come in and visit. Before I got smart and used the vise to hold my material, I used my hand to hold it and cut right into my hand. Always be safe when using power tools. This is the finished product of my solar panel tilt mechanism. I've used this bar from the dish TV antenna and I've used three wing nuts 
so I can loosen them and make adjustments. In the front I have one, in the back I have two. The, uh, the top one releases the panel. It just holds the panel for when I'm driving. And if I loosen the wing nut on that, the back of the solar panel will rise up. And the bottom one is so I can take the front of this bar. As the panel rises up, this comes off and will go into the bottom bolt here. If I'm making sense, I'll show you as I do it. On the back, I loosen the top wing nut so the panel will lift out of this little groove I have cut in this uh, piece of uh, aluminum angle iron that I fabbed. Yeah, now it'll lift up easily and then I loosen the bottom one so that once I get it up there the front of my bar can slide into here to hold it up I'll have to show you okay now I have both bars laying down on the top of the cap and I have these nuts both loosened in the back so I can go ahead and lift the panel I've got rubber grommets on the bolt just behind the wing nut so it won't back off. We'll have to see how they weather. In the RV park where I live, we have a back storage area. And people put stuff that they no longer use, somebody else might want. Well, this dish antenna is where I got my bars to hold my solar panel up. They were supporting this dish antenna pole. And uh, so it came in useful. Thank you, whoever put it back here. Since I drove to the back storage yard with the solar panel in the up position, I first tested the wattage with it up. Then I put it down and immediately tested in the down position. I wanted as close as possible the same position of the sun to make it as fair a test as possible. And now for the results. I've come inside in order to give you the results. Uh, I made sure that the refrigerator was off in both instances with the panel up and with it down. And uh, with the panel down, I was taking in 126 watts bulk. So the battery was taking the charge and it was uh, taking in 126 watts. And then 
when I moved it to the up position, it was taking in 163 watts bulk also, both under the same conditions, which is a difference of 37 watts or approximately 3 amp hours of more power going into my battery, which is more power that I can use. Now I can, I would have no problem charging my e-bike. I can leave my 400 watt heater on instead of just 15 minutes, maybe a full half hour now. I might even put in an electric blanket. My refrigerator takes, well, it's a three amp hours is what it takes, but it is only on 20 minutes out of an hour. So it's one third of an hour and one third of the three watts or amps is one amp hour. So it takes about 24 amp hours to charge my refrigerator. And uh, I've got a 100 amp hour battery. So I'm thinking I, I have everything that I need. And this is in uh, mid-February. So in the summertime, you know, the sun will be a little bit more uh, northern and, and closer and give me a lot more watts, more than I need. So for wintertime wattage, this is great. I'm very happy with the results. If you have any questions, ask down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer. And uh, I hope that uh, this video has provided something for somebody. And if it provides you with nothing else, when you use a grinder, Please use gloves. That was really silly, me injuring myself like that. <clears throat> okay. God bless you. Have a good day.